So today's demonstration is all about generating sample data sets within Excel. Now quite often I go and ask ChatGPT to generate me a sample data set when I'm building out a proof of concept, but I had a thought about Office Scripts and how you can actually call an API direct from within an Office Script, which led me to call the Azure OpenAI service or just the plain old OpenAI service directly from an Excel spreadsheet using Office Scripts. And then I was able to generate a sample data set in the shape of JSON, which then allowed me to populate and create a table all from clicking a button. I also then realized that I could create multiple prompts for, for all these scripts and perform different functions on my Excel workbooks using ChatGPT. So I've actually got a second script as well that based on the cell that I have selected, when I run my script, it will go away and provide a nice summary about that text. And of course, you could also get it to just run a calculation or any other thing that you can think of. So first off, I'm in Excel and you can see that I have an automate tab at the top here. And it's worth noting if you can't see that automate tab, then most likely your organization has disabled Office Scripts at your tenant level. So you need to go away and ask your IT. But if you can see that, you'll see all these scripts, three of which are the ones I'm going to demonstrate today. If you click this drop down button here, you can see some of the samples that are available. Now already on screen, I have a sample data set that I've generated based on 10 use cases for Power Automate and the potential benefits. And in order to run that script, you can see over on the right hand side here, I can click run and I have a request. So in this case, 25 rows of data about cats and dogs, and I have an API key. So that API key is for my uh, OpenAI service that I have available on either OpenAI or Azure and I've detached it from my script because there isn't a secure way of storing that. And so by storing it directly in your script, you run the risk of someone potentially gaining access to that API key. So if I hit run, what's happening behind the scenes now is I'm calling the Azure OpenAI service. I'm using that prompt alongside this message array. So you'll see I have a system role and content. You'll provide a sample data set based on the user's choice and return it as a nested array. And then we have the request, which is a parameter that's included as part of running the script. Now, if we pay particular attention down the bottom here, you'll see that sheet two has just been added right as we speak. That's a script just completed. And if I click on that, we now have a table of data based on the 25 cats and dogs that we asked for. Now this particular script is hitting the OpenAI service. And one of the features I want to call out in particular is this response format. I actually used it in my demonstration showing you how you can populate an Excel document fast using Power BI data or any other data set for that fact from Power Automate. By including this parameter, it means that the response from the OpenAI service will be in strict JSON format and it won't come back with any rogue text. If we jump across onto the documentation for OpenAI, this is the service I'm hitting. It is the chat completion service. I've chosen the specific model. But again, as we scroll down, I just want to call out that JSON mode. It's quite a handy feature, one that you should look to apply if you're looking to return just JSON. Over onto the next tab, I have opened the Azure OpenAI Studio. So this is the second service that I'm hitting. If we have a look at view code, we can see I have behind the scenes a code that's been used in different languages. Here is the body that's sent if I'm using JSON here. So you can see the messages with the role and also temperature and various parameters and also the endpoint address here as well as my masked API key. So I actually have a second version of the script, which if I just pop open now, we can see I've called the Azure OpenAI script. If I go into edit, it's almost identical. The only difference here being that the endpoint is different. It's hitting my particular endpoint. And again, I have a requirement for an API key. So if I was to hit run, I have to provide a slightly different API key because I'm hitting a different instance of GPT. And in this time, rather than asking for 25 rows of data about cats and dogs, I'm going to ask for the top 20 films of 2020. And we'll go ahead and hit run. And we should, in pretty much similar timescales, get a new sheet added to our Excel workbook that includes that sample data. And so within about 20 to 30 seconds, I get a new sheet added 
and we can see we have the top 20 films and some worldwide gross and budget information. Also on the right hand side you'll note that I have an output with the number of tokens that were consumed, so in this case 558, and we have the result which includes the whole JSON array, the, the, re the response that comes back. So if you really wanted to explore, you could go and pop all this open and have a look at the data that's been returned, which ultimately is a nested array containing an array of columns and their titles and then all the rows. And it's this format that enables us to write the data back to our Excel sheet very quickly and generate a table. So if I browse very briefly just to the script, and remember I will share the script so that you can try this yourself, albeit you'll have to get your own endpoint for either Azure OpenAI or just OpenAI Direct. We have the various parameters, we're making a post, we pass in the API key, and then the body itself has that response format that I mentioned. It has the messages, which are pairs, the role and the content, including that prompt, as well as the user request. We see the familiar parameters, including the temperature and the maximum tokens, etc. And then we have a series of further expressions that are consuming the data using this fetch function, which allows us to then bring back the data into an object and ultimately access that to then fire it into our sheet using the following expressions at the end here. And it's this code at the end, which I'll just highlight that I've used in my previous demo that ultimately allows us to write data to Excel extremely fast by just dumping the nested array of data directly into our sheet. Now, as an added bonus, I created a third script and that particular script will take the following prompt. You are an AI assistant that provides a short description of the supply text. And then the role, as you can see for the user, just takes the selected cell text and sends that on to GPT. So if I go back to sheet two, if I go and insert a column here, and what we can do is just extend the size of that, wrap the text and change this to description, I will select cat and I will run this script. And you can see on this occasion, it's not asking me for the sample data that I'm looking for because it's gonna run this strict prompt that I have about providing a short description. So if I provide my API key and hit run, if we watch carefully, the description field here will be populated short, shortly with some information about what a cat is. And we can now see we have that description of a cat. Similarly, if I do the same with dog, and just paste in my key again and hit run, we'll very quickly get the information about what a dog is. And then finally, if I choose German Shepherd and we'll hit the play button and once more supply my API key and hit run, we'll get a nice short succinct description for what a German Shepherd is, a breed of dog known for its intelligence and versatility. So you can see by using Office scripts, we're able to call the OpenAI GPT models based on our own prompts and based on what were required. In the first example, I purely wanted to generate sample data based on a particular description. And then the second use case is based on the cell that I have selected, I want to pass that to the prompt that then generates a description that's output on the cell to the right of the cell that's been selected. So using a bit of pro code in the form of TypeScript, we're able to tap into the power of ChatGPT and bring it directly into Office scripts using our own subscription, either on Azure OpenAI or OpenAI itself. Now as an added bonus for anyone that's managed to get this far, if I add another sheet into this Excel workbook, I'm gonna change the prompt here. So rather than being an AI assistant that provides a short description of the supplied text, how about an AI assistant that follows the instructions? That follows the instructions provided. And what that means is anything that I type into a cell and highlight will now get passed into GPT. And so for instance, if I say, what is nine plus four? I've skipped showing you me adding the API key, but you can see the response I get is natural language, nine plus four equals 13. If I was to say, tell me a joke about chickens, I will of course get a joke about why chickens don't use Facebook because they already have their own social media platform called Hentrest. And if I was to ask it to generate an email reply to a complaint letter for a grumpy customer 
who has received a broken item. You can see that it's generated a draft email, of course, based on that sample prompt, all based on the functionality that I've specified in that system role. So we're able to give our ChatGPT model a prompt, a role, and as a result of selecting the text in the cell and running that script, we can hit that API and of course, generate any custom text based on our input. And so I hope that helps you understand how you can use GPT in Excel using Office scripts.